When the News 4 Health Team's Dr. Mary Mason announced that she was having a baby, she knew she would get a lot of information on a lot of different topics. Well, one of the new ones is cord blood donation, and she believes that most women don't know how it works. So in this News 4 Health Extra, our health reporter Lisa Monzo shows us how the blood saves lives. When Ella Hobler was born, her parents stored her umbilical cord blood in a private blood bank. They'll do the same thing when their third child is born in January. Then when um, I was pregnant with Ella, we had already learned that Chris was diagnosed with ALS. And it became very urgent and very urgent to us to have that stored away, you know, if not for him, um, for her someday. A baby's cord blood is rich in stem cells, which are used for transplants and possibly cures for devastating diseases like Chris's. How are you today? Good. Good. Good to see you. How are things? Good. News 4's Dr. Mary Mason says she was bombarded with ads for private cord blood banks when she became pregnant with her second child. She's willing to pay a $360 collection fee plus an annual fee of $90 for the security of having stored stem cells just in case. There is another option. You can donate your baby's cord blood here to the St. Louis Cord Blood Bank at Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital. This is the second largest public bank in the United States. The chance of a woman needing the stem cells for either her family or for, for that child or other child or other children is very, very rare. That's why Dr. David Weinstein encourages patients to donate what would normally end up in the trash. If you ever need it for a transplant and it's still available, you could get the cord blood back. I think they've used about 20 of my collections already to save people's lives. The Hoblers can't donate publicly because of Chris's illness, but they're encouraging other families who might discard cord blood after birth to consider this life-saving gift. Lisa Monzo, News 4 St. Louis. Wow, it's quite a fairly new practice, but it does seem to give a number of parents peace of mind. It really does. It's catching on as well locally, big time. All right.